you know when you're watching a movie on Netflix, especially documentaries, and there are those motion graphic and they zoom in and the quality is perfect? That happens because they use SVGs. And I'm going to show to you how to make a search bar in Fusion from scratch. That you can just zoom in as much as you want without losing any quality at all. So let's jump into Fusion. As you can see, there are not many nodes and I'm going to explain to you each single one. And we're going to recreate all of them side by side. All right, so let's focus on the search bar first, okay? I'm going to press Shift Space as rectangle, all right? I'm going to press one so you can see both, okay? So the goal is to just create just something like this. Just think about the Google search bar, all right? So you can just scale a bit. And over here, there's corner radius. And let's make it sort of round like that. All right, that's the first one. And that's the search bar. F2, and let's write search. Oops, but okay. All right, so to make a shadow, we copy the search bar. We merge them like this, okay. All right, so, oops, style, color, I want it black, okay. I'm going to lower the alpha like this, okay. And then the Y offset like this, and like this maybe, that's okay. And the opacity as well, because you know, it's, it's a shadow. <laughs> Let me zoom in, could be better. All right. I think it's, it's okay for now, yep, all right. Then we're going to create a text, okay, like this one. I'm going to show you what I did over here. I mean, I've just done as text. All right. I'm just going to copy this and paste it. Okay, it's much easier. All right, to make scratch bar infusion from scratch. Okay. I use the IBA. I think this one is alright. Okay. I'm going to merge this on top. Yep. And of course we can't see it. Because the color is white. Alright, so let's change the colors I did here. Let's change the size. Okay. So we can just change the... All right, so now I'm going to show to you how to animate a, a text. All right, so go to frame seven. We go right on over here, okay? Toggle that on. It's back to zero. Okay, frame 12. And back to one, all right? Okay, and here it is. All right, so as you can see, it's a bit harsh. So to smoothen that out, we go to spline. Oops, that's a lot. Click on the three dots here, show only selected, okay? And that's a text animation. Select that all, shift S, all right? Then press T and is in. I usually just stretch it to 50 or something like that. And that should be smoother, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, looks better to me. All right, so next we're going to create an S render, which is basically the ending node for any of our S shape or S text. Anything that is an S something wants an S render at the end in order to be connected to other parts of our composition. So shift space, S render, okay. And that's done. So now we're going to create our search icon. All right, so I've just downloaded this icon reference over here. I placed a transform node after it just because I wanted to reshape it a little bit, okay? So I'm just going to leave the reference over here, okay? And I'm going to create, first of all, an ellipse. So shift space as ellipse, oops. Yeah, I can write it. All right, okay. As you can see, we got the shape over here, okay? 
we're going to create a very simple expression which allows us to increase or decrease the width and height of the sh of the shape at the same time all right so good go to width equal all right there's a plus button over here to the height and you can scale it down like this more or less yep all right like this doesn't have to be perfect in my opinion all right you can also use the controls all right so next we're going to create this line as polygon okay so click here and click here all right and that's about it you don't have to do anything else yet the last one is another as polygon shift space as polygon all right and what we're going to do here is this and this and this select all okay and then press this button or shift s all right now we're going to merge all of them on top of each other and as you can see it looks terrible <laughs> we're gonna fix this right away all right so go to s lips controls toggle off the solid increase the border width a tiny bit like this is fine i guess yeah style and black yeah and then we're going to repeat the same exact thing with yes polygon which i did already yes yeah so yeah increase i think it's fine black same with the last one and yeah more or less it's fine i guess black again and that's pretty much done yeah all right so now what i did was to create an s transform because i wanted to change the size and the position of my of my icon to just placing next to the text okay so s transform okay i'm going to show that to you over here so i'm going to zoom in all right so that's the one I was talking about as you can see that's what i need to just place it where i want it to be okay i did the same exact thing over here which was equal to the x size over here and drag this oops to the y size okay so that i can scale it as much as i want okay and let me just point out as you can see you don't lose quality at all okay then I created a um, transform node, which I'm going to use to control our search bar, our icon and our text together at the same time, okay? So that I can use that to animate them together only with one node, okay? So what I did here was shift space, as transform, all right, and copy this, then right click or shift command B, and that's an instance. An instance node is a node which is exactly identical to the one that we copied, okay? And when I'm going to edit or animate our first node, or this one as well, they're both going to animate at the same time and stay connected, okay? All right, so and then what I did was, let's take our search bar over here. Let's copy this. Right click, post instance, okay? And then I'm going to place this one right over here, okay? And let's not forget to create an S render after our icon. Otherwise, we can't do anything at all. Let's merge them on top of each other. Let's write to, and as you can see, it's quite too big. So we're gonna fix it now. That's why I created this one single node over here. Now let's scale it down, let's zoom in a bit. Yep. So now I'm going to show to you why the size control that we created is important. I'm going to create an expression again over here and I'm going to connect this to the to the Y size. Okay. So now look, if I'm going to increase this, first of all, the quality is perfect, alright? And then if I'm going to move this one, both are text, search bar 
the, the icon over here, they are all connected to each other. So I just need one single node for, for this process, okay? So now I'm going to show you what this node does, which is a size animation, okay? And I'm going to press shift space, transform, all right, frame zero, keyframe on the size, frame seven, I guess it was seven, let me check. It was eight, okay, eight, keyframe again. So back to zero and zoom out. That's why we can't see anything. All right, then spline. Select all, Shift S, is into 50 more or less, and more or less 50 again, okay. And that's it, zoom in, okay. So now we're going to create a sort of fading effect using brightness and contrast nodes, okay. So she space, brightness and contrast, frame 8, okay. Keyframe on gain. Turn on pre divide and post multiply, all right? And back to zero, gain to zero, okay? Spline, shift S, 50, more or less, okay? And let's see. Yeah, let me show you. As you can see, it's absolutely subtle but it makes a difference in my opinion. So now we're going to animate the way out. So let's go to frame 58 like this, okay? Place a keyframe over here, then 65, just do a keyframe out, okay? And spline, select the more, shift S, and examine and out like this more or less. Same with the brightness and contrast. So 58, and then let me check, it was 65. And same exact over here. Spline, Shift S, and that's about it, okay? I forgot to mention something very important, which is all the time that we make an animation in Fusion, I suggest to turn on the motion blur. When it comes to a shapes like this one or as text, you just go to the S render over here. You click on settings and you just toggle on the motion blur. All right. When it comes to single nodes like the transform nodes over here that we animated, you just click on this settings again and motion blur. And that's about it. So let's jump back to where we were. So now we're going to place a keyframe stretcher. And a keyframe stretcher is a node that allows you to stretch in the AD page the length of your composition, okay? So what I mean is that if I go back to the AD page and I choose to stretch this one, well, that's a bit too much, but you get the point. The effect is still going to work the same way and the animation is still going to be the same length, okay? So shift space, keyframe stretcher, all right. So the source start is when our composition starts. In this case, it is frame zero. The source end is when our composition ends, okay? And in this case, it is 66, okay? All right. The stretch start is the first frame after our first animation ends, okay? Let me show that to you. So in this scenario, we know that our animation ends at 12, so we want to place 13, okay? Then, as we just did, we did the way out like this from 58. So for the source end, we want to place the, fr the frame before that one, which is going to be 57. This tells fusion that from 14 till 57 I want that to be stretched as much as I need according to the length of the composition in the edit page. So as you can see over here at the, at the beginning of our composition there's this and that's because in the brightness, in the brightness and contrast over here you need to toggle on the alpha channel as well okay. All right. 
Right, so I hope that you learned something today and I help you out a bit. And if you got any question or something you would like me to do next time, just let me know in the comments and bye.